Good afternoon. It's Sunday. I'm Stacey J and this is my studio. Welcome. Welcome back anyone who has been watching me and welcome to those that are new to my station. Station? Channel. Station. Yeah. I'm a legend in my own lunchbox. Stand by. I'm just going to check to see the dog. And I was right. Well, I did want to come in. Not that she wants to settle. Old cat flat. Okay, so I am going to talk to you about the monthly make of March. Today is the 31st of March, Sunday, Easter. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, I am day ahead of most of you. Not a day. 12 hours ahead of most of you. So in March, we decided we were going to make the Sydney dress. Now, the Sydney dress, I'll just pop a picture up here. Okay, it comes to the bust, just under the bust with the bodice. And then falls down into a cocoon, a cocoon, a cocoon shaped um, skirt with um, front pockets and the front panel. I'm going to show you. Hmm, I'm going to review it, and go through my particular pattern at the. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to go through it, and I'm going to tell you what I would, could, and have, and did change, if. Well, when I make my next one, because I will be making another one because I feel unfulfilled because I got a little bit lazy. So it's not lazy that I messed it up. It's lazy that I had to do a ton of stuff to it to make it fit me properly, 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 properly. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, so I'm going to pop it on. I have 20 minutes to go over this with you all um, before I have to go and be at my son where he's house sitting and pick him up and take him to work. Yes, I've just taken my heels off. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so I have my Sydney on. Sydney. And it comes there, there's with the seam on, on me, right across there. Now, I didn't do a full bust adjustment. My bust, uh, full bust is 115, my upper bust is 101. So, come on, Stacey, stop being so lazy. Now, if I'd had and done a full bust to size 14 or 16, which is where, well, more of 14, where my upper bust measurement comes to, if I'd done a full bust adjustment, the actual dress would have fallen to more under my bust because it would have given room for my bust to sit in the span it was given. But it, I didn't, and it doesn't. So one strike to me. That's a bad strike, not like, not, you know. Of course it is, because when you strike out, yeah. Okay, one strike to me. Okay, secondly, I have that much room all right to um that i could have there's a lot of fabric there's a lot of fabric i can tuck myself into the cocoon right the cocoon the style is what it is a style versus style versus ease okay i have more ease then it would have been style had I selected uh, the right size for my hip and buttocks area. But I did not. I'm a size 14 upper bust, a size <laughs> too big in the waist. I think it's 16, 18 in the waist. Not a cool size. And a size 12 in the butt. That sounds horribly wrong. But the other thing that is wrong with my body, well, sorry, the other thing that is unique with my body is my waist is up here okay so i'm very long from my waist down to my crutch which you add that in your leg area okay so um so anything that comes out just under there's my waist here so it just sort of falls and and engulfs my body so i will next time I will do a full bust adjustment to a size 14. Okay. I will next time 
do a size 12 in my skirt and grade up to the size 14, um, 14 bust adjustment to fit around the back of there. I mean, there's so much room in the back of my dress. That's redonkulous. Okay, but that was going from a standard. No one's standard. Find me a standard person. There's always going to be something that does not fit properly on you as a standard. So, so lesson learnt. Um, there are so many reviews saying that this builds big. It does build big. Um, it says it goes to 126 or something like that in the um, in the finished garment, but it's not. It's about 132 two or 133 in my size that I have so I've got lots and lots of ease okay I don't want to destroy the style which means it's meant to have ease but I've got to look at the big picture and realize that I am not a size 18 in the butt no I'm just not so that is lesson learned to me um, but I do know what I'm going to do going forward okay so if I had bigger hips, I think I'd be really comfortable. Um, a lot of a lot of women who do have bigger hips have a smaller bust, so it actually lets, looks less <clears throat> sacky, sacky on you. Okay, so when you have a big bust like I have, it hangs straight from your bust. There's some, yeah. Look at that. I mean, I'd love it to go in smaller, but <laughs> let's just say for funs and shits and giggles now, it ain't going to happen. The other thing that, and this is brought up to me by one of my viewers, is that they'd made this, and instead of putting the pockets in the front, they put them in the side. Now, my pockets are in my side. Now, I thought that was a brilliant idea, because, uh, I don't know why I picked you up, sorry. You're going to see a lot of the dress, not me which ain't that bad a deal. So if I had my pockets in the front, my hands would be here like this. And if I put anything in my pocket, it would pull down in the front. So if I put, um, what's it me heavy? I'm going to put this remote. It's not that heavy. Put this remote in my pocket. Find the pocket, Stacey. Put the remote in my pocket. It's sort of balanced. It's too long for my pocket. Sorry, guys. Just bear with. I'm just trying to think. So it's it's... It doesn't hang from up the throat. It hangs from under the arms. So there's less of a drag with it being in the side. And I know I built it to be in the side. And anyone that wanted to follow me will follow what I'd done by putting them in the side. Um, you've done it to the side and you probably feel a lot better that you did. I just couldn't understand. It's a hidden pocket, granted. And it was in the front. But if you hang anything in it or put anything in it, it's just going to drag down. No, no. So that's where I am with the pockets. I believe they should go in the side. It's not where the artist put them, but that's where I put them. Hey, um, I love, I love the um, the hem. The hem is a basically it's just fold. Make sure those, yeah, folded in half and then just stitched on. So it's stitched on like that and it goes all the way around. I found that really easy, really easy to do. Um, quite like that. Saves having to hem hem. <laughs> and this is a rolled up cuff. The marks on the cuff don't add up anywhere where it is. And I actually did a nice little roll, um, hand stitch tacked the sleeves up so they don't come down. There's nothing worse than half of it being folded down when you are doing something, putting a jumper on or something like that. So I actually do like this. I do love the pattern. Um, and I would recommend if you like something like... Um, that is, that is, um, sorry, I'm just remembering a Facebook post I had, and I was talking to somebody about the bow, bowing out, um, clowness, clownified and things like that. Um, if you do like the, um, I've lost the whole shape, the cocoon shape. If you do like the cocoon shape and the dresses is made in a linen, um, the linen washes up beautifully because I, I made the top. Remember how I had some left over and I made, I made the fern bird top with my extra 
funkiness of the sleeves well um I washed it and the only thing I actually ironed was the facing oh, that's the other thing with this the facing is sewn down it sits beautifully and um I don't know about you but I can barely see the stitches of that you'll be able to see it when it goes over oh I can't see them but the, that's not neckline is just sits beautifully I know another thing I'd like to try next time is actually turning this into a V but not a V a V without being a V that's what I would definitely like to do sorry I'm just keeping a really good eye on the time I have to get some things together before I shoot up and get my son so I quite like the style arc Sydney dress it's actually called the Sydney designer I've got a dog currently in my way so of course she monopolizes the ground footage so this is the dress um, I've got a little pair of heels on to give it that little classy look actually these shoes are seriously new my feet my body is that white and I know like I said I know that it's got the big ballooning going on but if I if I honestly if I had had done that look at the difference with it falling the way it falls versus it coming straight out there okay so if I had done my full bust adjustment there's a reason people that it has to be done I was just you know cray cray lazy um yep yeah, I think definitely there are a few different choices and different things I'm going to do with mine I did take that I think I took some out of the back for my sway back yeah I think I did um I get too many angles of me in in this room to see me in clothing which in my mind's not a good thing but I really definitely like this dress and I love the linen, love the linen I made it in. And the linen was from uh, the clearance shed, the fabric clearance shed, the clearance fabric shed, Mor Morlands, Morland Fabrics. That's what they used to be called. And that's what I remember them as. It's not changing names on me, people. Makes my head explode. And yep, yeah, so that's, that's what the Sydney is. I'd love to see your uh, Sydney's on Instagram be really really good and i would also love to hear comments anything you want to say below have you made it what are your thoughts on making it tell me your review on it um just drop me a line and say hated this love that don't like this know what you mean by this blah 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 whatever i'd love to hear your angle on it your angle on it and my angle on it makes somebody's new angle on it different. So they might be able to go, okay, right. I've got all the picture of the Sydney dress. Okay. And the what, where, who, and how. So um, it's really breezy. It's like kind of really a summer sit out having cocktails. I don't know why I talk about alcohol so much. You guys must think I'm an alcoholic. I isn't. That isn't. Okay, so I want to thank you all for taking place and um, taking place, taking part in this. I am going to um, see all the Sydney dresses um, up on Instagram and I'm going to pop your names into, into, the, uh, into a box. And Mr. Christopher, no doubt, will pull a name out and the winner will get... And I said I'm going to do this, and I didn't know how I was going to do this and how I was going to give it away, but I am going to do this. One second. It's been sitting here patiently waiting for its new home. This is the makes for 2024, which is stupid because it'll be 2024 before anyone gets it. Got all your measurements. I've draw done all the drawing myself, all the colouring in, and... All different. Oh, just cut my mouth on the plastic. Awesome. Okay, your project planner. And then I think there's something at the back that says what you've made. 
here's a couple of little things. I love to pop that in the post to somebody. Get so you pray. Oh, I really like that page. What do you do when you're watching TV? I draw flowers and colour them in. The fabric inventory, okay. Your measurements, your body measurements, and of course that. So um, make a comment in this, in um, this vlog, and I'll get your names um, and put them into a hat. Pop your pop this on Instagram, and if you can, please tag me into it, and tag um, Style Arc would be fantastic, okay, because it is a Style Arc Sydney dress, and if you could do that, that would be fantastic, and then I can get all your names off the Instagram as well, because I just, I am dying to see everybody's. I have had a sneaky um, preview for, from some people, which is just always excellent, and um and very please don't hesitate to communicate with me. I I love a good natter. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so I'd like to thank you all for taking part in the Sydney dress. Don't forget, I'm going to come back on and going to do a monthly make for um, tomorrow. Tomorrow's month of April. Okay, that's how far we're into the month already. Month four. I'm four. I just unbelievable blow mind. Um, and so I'm going to talk about the monthly make for uh, April and fabric choices, um, measurement sizing and all that sort of stuff. And I will do that after I get Samuel and take him to work. Okay, so I'm going to get changed out of this jump back into my jeans and don't forget please put a comment below if you would like to win the um my makes folder um booklet book art stuff from me i'll send it anywhere that you are and whoever gets drawn out and if you could put in not only from here but also over on um on instagram you must be a subscriber Okay, so I will check to see that you are actually a subscriber with my channel, and that would be fantastic. Okay, that is great. Thank you so very, very much for watching. Please take care. Stay well, stay warm, stay dry. Keep cool, keep on sewing. Hydrate, which I have got to do. I've got a bit of a balmy. Mm. It's wings over Monica, and the planes keep flying over. Mr. Christopher is in his element. Me, I'm ex-military, ex-air force. <laughs> yeah, another plane. Anyway, hydrate and have no regrets. Thanks, guys. Please take care.